The following program contains scenes and language of a frank and explicit nature. Discretion is advised. All right, welcome. Episode 73 of Rare Form Radio. Um, this is our first episode after Thanksgiving, and I hope everyone had a lovely time who celebrates, which is what, Americans and Canadians? I think that's it. Mexicans don't, I don't think. I love Thanksgiving. Uh, I always have. Uh, this year is weird. You guys probably know that. Um, I mean, unless you're like denying the virus that is ravaging the world, then you probably, uh, maybe you didn't notice that things are fucked up. But, you know, no big gatherings, no family, like big family events were uh, welcomed, and they shouldn't be. I get it. I fully get it. But it still sucks, man. Um, it sucks to be living like this and to have holidays taken away. Um, everyone should really be masking up and doing your part to uh, to curb this thing because it. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of it. You know, every year for Thanksgiving, um, you should go to you know my close friends. Like their family has kind of adopted us and brought us to their family's place. And this year, uh, we just did like a little, a small backyard, probably pushing the the limits a little bit of what we should have done, but it was very distant, distanced, wore masks, uh, one at a time, getting food, you know, everything was outside, but still it felt bad. It felt like we shouldn't be doing it in a way, um, but that's why... You know, the wife and I, we popped in, popped out, ate, and, you know, made it as short as possible. But if you're listening and you haven't adopted the mask stuff yet, please do, for the love of God. Not even for just for Thanksgiving, but just for the sake of everybody. Um, there was like 2,700, 2,750 is the amount of people that died yesterday from uh, from COVID which was like 146 more than died in 9-11. And that's going to be happening every day for for the foreseeable future, which I don't think is too awesome. Um, but thank you for joining uh, our comedy podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, we're going to move on um, to something that's actually funny. And that of course, is racism. Um, I want to read you guys a quote from <clears throat> an incredibly famous man, um, a performer, and I'm going to give you a few seconds to try to guess who it is, okay? Check this out. This is, I'm, I'm not going to do the accent if there is one. Mm, is that a hint? It might be. So here's the quote, and I, I, I can't believe I never heard this before. So this is what the guy said. Do we have any foreigners in the audience tonight? If so, please put up your hands. So where are you? Well, wherever you are, I think you should all just leave. Not just leave the hall, leave our country. I don't want you here, in the room or in my country. Listen to me, man. I think we should send them all back. Stop Britain from becoming a black colony. Get the foreigners out. Get the wogs out. Get the coons out. Keep Britain white. The black wogs and coons and Arabs and fucking Jamaicans don't belong here. We don't want them here. This is England. This is a white country. We don't want any black wogs and coons living here. We need to make clear to them they are not welcome. England is for white people, man. This is Great Britain, a white country. What is happening to us? For fuck's sake, throw the wogs out. Keep Britain white. Holy, are you fucking kidding me? Like, 
you can't even like you can't soften this or spin it any other way. Do you guys know who that, who said that? I'll give you five more seconds. That was said by Eric Clapton. <laughs> Eric Clapton, the guy that sings Layla in uh, Tears in Heaven. That guy said all this hateful shit, and I think it was in the 70s. Let me see here. Not that, I mean, not that the 70s makes it okay, but, like, it, it's a little bit, yeah, 1976, um, which he later apologized for, but, like, how the fuck do you walk that back? Good Lord, man. Um, how did this not end his career, like, in its place right then? Dude, I enjoy some racist humor and comedy from time to time, but there's <laughs> nothing funny about this except for how insane it is, like the guy that said it. Eric Clapton, one of like the most respected guitarists, musicians of all time, you know, was in some huge bands um, before having an even bigger solo career. So this is just insane to me. Like, what did he, did he, I want to ask you, I also want to know, like, what was the audience's response to that? Do they cheer? Do they throw up? Do they, like, call the newspapers? Um, like, what the, what do you do? What do you do when you're, you're a hero? Like, if I went to a, um, a Nine Inch Nails concert and Trent Reznor launched into this bullshit, um, it's Trent. I'd probably listen. Fuck, Trent could probably make me racist. Um, no, I'm kidding. Of course, um, I would be so devastated and bummed out. Um, what do these people do? I want. I would love to talk to somebody who was at that show when that happened. Can you imagine? Like if Taylor Swift did this. You know, um, she's she's enormous, and Eric Clapton was huge as well. Like, uh, imagine Michael Jackson or um, Cher. What if Cher did this? <laughs> It'd be so fucking crazy. The black wogs and coons and Arabs and fucking Jamaicans don't belong here. Whoa. Clapton, back the fuck off, dude. What's a wog? I mean, I've, I probably shouldn't be saying it so much. Let me look it up here. I shouldn't be saying it this much on a podcast when I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, oh, a wog is just a person who is not white. So, like, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Um, weird. That's a weird fucking move. What an idiot. Um, You guys have any... uh? Any racist heroes that you want to talk about? <laughs> Insanity. Um, so we mentioned, uh, I mentioned, whatever it was, last week that we're going to start doing, I'm going to start doing, I got to get used to this we, I thing for now until, uh, until Todd realizes the error of his ways. It's not an error, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> I decided last week and told you guys that we're going to be doing, I'm going to be doing, motherfucker, a, uh, where was I? I'm going to be doing like a, a co-host residency for Rare Form. So month of December, we'll have somebody, January, February, and so on. Um, so the person joining me tonight, uh, you guys, you don't know who it is yet. You know, you're going to find out in a couple minutes. But this is going to be fun. Um, um, I'm going to enjoy doing this with different people, and uh, I hope that you guys enjoy it too. I think you will. It'll keep it fresh and new, and, um, you know, we'll juggle and see how we do for a while. If you guys hate it, let me know, and I probably won't stop it. If you love it, let me know, and I'll keep doing it, okay? That's my promise. Um, the person who you're about to hear from, my co-host for the entire month of December, is a person. They are, they is their uh, preferred pronoun. 
just so uh, I'm trying to be respectful of everyone's things. Okay. They um. They've they've been around before in our world. Um, they're funny. They're talented. Um, hmm. Are you guys excited? Do you have any idea? Do you have guesses? Um, <laughs> this is so stupid. What a what a dumb way to build it up. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> look forward to uh, the month of December with uh, with our co-host residency. It's going to be a blast. In the meantime, I uh, want to take a second to thank everybody who has been sending really, really kind messages to me and to Todd. And um, I- I'm honestly a little, I guess I'm a little surprised by it. I'm a little surprised by like how sweet people are being. Um, I don't, that sounds shitty to say that it's surprising, but I'm a, I'm a little touched by it. And uh, I know that Todd is appreciating hearing from you guys as well, you know. So keep a stay on his radar. Um, he loves you guys as well. Um, but thanks again. Thank you for uh, still supporting and uh, listening last week to the Queen Kwong show. A lot of positive feedback on that one. And I agree. That was a really fun show. She's awesome. I love Karay. Thanks for doing that. She will be back. Maybe she wants to be a, a co-host someday. Um, and also, check out her podcast, Never Meet Your Idols. Uh, really, really cool. Oh, also, I want to read this to you real quick. And again, just thank you, everybody, for all the support. Thank you to our Patreon folks who are, are I think, having a good time with the extra content. Uh, it's fun to do. It's a lot of work, uh, I'm finding out. But it's worth it. And it's worth it in every way. So if you want to join Patreon, you know what to do. Patreon.com slash Um pick a pick a tier, pick a program that works best for you and your budget and what you want. And uh it would be very much appreciated. And it will help build this show up, get me out of this uh office that I have at my home. Um Get, a, get people paid, you know. I also want to take a second to thank uh, Engineer Frank for editing the YouTube videos um, and adding all his little fun shit in there. Thank you very much, Frank. Super appreciated. And thank you, Uncle Creepy, who has been cutting up clips for us to share on Instagram, and eventually we'll put that stuff on YouTube as well. So we have a... <coughs> we have a good little team, and... Um, as the Patreon builds up, we can take care of those people and hopefully add more at some point. And uh, it'll help help me as well. So thank you all. Very generous. Super appreciative. Um, even if you bail, I appreciate you very much. So thanks a lot. And now, <clears throat> I got a mail. I got a letter the other day. Do you guys ever get these things where they're like they're hand handwritten? Um, like a dress on the envelope. So you assume it's somebody that you know. And you open it, and it says something like this. <clears throat> Dear Daniel Cleary, We are sharing encouraging words during these difficult times. We would like to draw your attention to the kingdom of God. Okay. Uh, this is This kingdom will do away with all of mankind's problems that man has not been able to do. Jesus prayed for God's kingdom to come. Let your will take place as in heaven, also on earth. Uh, Matt 6, 9, 10, some bullshit. Maybe you have prayed for this kingdom to come also. What is God's kingdom? Why do we need God's kingdom? Who is the king of God's kingdom? When will God's kingdom rule the earth? What will God's kingdom accomplish? To find these answers to these interesting questions, please visit... I'm not going to give the fucking website because this is ridiculous. If you would like to know more, please feel free to contact me at the above address. Stay safe and well. Sincerely, some fucking maniac, but like... Look at that thing. Look at that. 
hand typed. How many of these? How many of these were sent out to people? And also, how many people respond to this? Has this ever worked? Has has like has a church ever been built on like um, handwritten letters to strangers? Like what a what an epic waste of time I think but, you know I, I say that but then also you know during during the election I wrote 20, 20 letters to voters in Texas trying to like inspire them to not vote one way or the other just to vote so maybe I'm a hypocrite I guess that's the same goddamn thing that this is uh, I'm a phony guys damn it I just caught myself <laughs> um Sorry, Clarence, I will not be uh, writing you back. Uh, this is, that's madness. Anyway, um, guys, don't write people letters about Jesus, okay? That's, you're really taking a gamble there. Um, all right, let's, um, let's hand it over. Let's, let's do the unveiling now of the Rare Form Radio co-host, resident, the resident co-host for the month of December. Find out who it is right now. Welcome back. Here's the big moment, everybody. The big reveal that I've been teasing for minutes now. Minutes. Um, So, yeah, we're going to do this... uh, co-host residency starting the month of December with our guest who is hidden to you right now, but they are about to be revealed and they is their preferred pronoun. So without, excuse me, Sorry. Shut, shut up, shut Sorry, up, dude. please be quiet. They <laughs> um, put uh, disguise your voice and give people a clue as to who you might be. That's not a very good disguise. I'm not Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> you heard they first. They you they are not Tom Selleck. But but they <laughs> <laughs> All right. Without further ado, our co-host for the month of December is the one, the only Lisa Rafael Dunn Rafael Dunn. Whoa. Hey. Thanks, Danny. Hey, thank you for How coming are back. You? I'm you know, great. Again, I'm in my house. So. Yeah, that's true. It's pretty, like, it is cool that no, there's no excuses now for people not being able to, like, talk on the phone or to do one of these because no one's sucks. busy. I know. I yeah. know. It sucks. I have no more excuses. Would I you rather to, like, take the calls and shit? So we were supposed to start uh, recording this about an hour ago, mm-hmm. and I delayed it because I just watched Mike Tyson fight for the first time since, uh, for like 15, 20 years. Did you, you okay? see him fight or did you see him hug? Don't oh, be a fucking, don't be a racist bitch to start the show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know your feelings towards blacks that aren't in wheelchairs. It's a big pet <laughs> peeve. It's a big pet peeve of yours. <laughs> and we'll get into that in a moment too. But yes, please do. <laughs> so, uh, Mike Tyson just fought Roy Jones Jr. And, uh, like, I used to watch Mike Tyson as a kid and it was so exciting. Do you even realize, like, do you have any, like, as a woman, as a female woman, um, do you realize how amazing Mike Tyson is? I, yeah, no, no, he's, he's pretty, he's pretty incredible. I also know that he, like, his, you know, he bit somebody's ear off once. That's yep. weird. Yep. Did he, like, rape somebody once? That's also weird. Listen, listen I'm trying <laughs> to enjoy my night. Of, okay, well. <laughs> You should then then you'll like the story. I ran into him at what the hell is it called? Like yogurt noho or something. He was in front of me in line and he's like, I'll take a cookie with cream ice cream. And it just was so weird. It's like Mike Tyson, don't eat that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he can do whatever he wants though. Yeah, he's, I'm not gonna argue with him. <laughs> I, I stood near him at LAX, like like maybe six feet socially distanced, of course, uh, mm. about six six feet away. Mm. And I really wish I took a moment to what just Wait, why do you sound like the Matrix right now? What, ha- what do you mean? What happened? What happened? Are we okay? You just sounded like Max Headroom. I don't know what the fuck happened. Beep, 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 I'm beep, great. Beep. I don't know. We're good. <laughs> fuck it. Who cares? Um, anyway, um, 
So we postponed this for about an hour because I was watching the fight, and then you and your husband, Johnny, were also watching. And then we were delayed further because you had a little bit of a panic attack. Mm -hmm. I did. I mean, it I'm honored. I'm honored that you get so stressed out about doing the show. But what, That's what, what happened? It is. <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, I haven't been feeling well. Like the last couple of days, been feeling really shitty. And so your mind, that's the first place where, at least me, I'm like, oh, I got the vid. I haven't left, but somehow, oh. That, I don't think it's that okay. because I just have an upset stomach. But right before we started, I looked and I had all these little bumps on my chest. So I tasted one of his tater tots and I thought I was having an allergic reaction to the tater tot. So I started spazzing out. Look, I got my little um, oximeter here. So I was like taking my breath. And it said at one point it was 93. And so then I started having like, if we're going to talk about this, I'm going to have another panic attack, actually. <laughs> this would make for good radio. <laughs> Look, Watch you the link on YouTube. About 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I don't, what's, a, what's a good reading for an uh, oximeter? Fucking 100. And you're at 93? For a second, yeah. That seems and like a And one time of... I was 95, but then predominantly it was like 99, 100. So what's considered low? And 93. That's not real. Good. Or is it just like, I that, swear to God, is it least good. Thought? okay. All right. No, that's not good. No, anything below 95. Okay. Well, I'm really happy that you're still with us. Me um, too, man. Me too. I mean, I feel good. I, I feel fucking good. I like having you here, but I, I, I don't want to find someone else. It's just a pain in the ass to find someone else to fill. Right. In. I get it. You know what I mean, I get um, it. yeah. So yeah. So I made a comment a minute ago about, uh, Sweaty black men and wheelchairs. And how do you know you're sweaty? What the fuck? Now you're just elaborating on a story you you weren't even there for. So don't even get me started. Oh, oh, because at first you said it never happened, and now you're saying I wasn't there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which story are you talking about? Okay, yeah. So um, we've discussed this before. You and I probably two dozen times, but on the radio, oh. I'm not sure if we got into it. But Lisa Rafael Dunn Rafael. Blew a dude in the dog. Pound. I did not. Yeah, you I did. did not. I did not you, blow him. I didn't. Those are your words. You're fucking out of your nest. You're you're out of your mind, bro. Lisa did the service with her mouth on a dude in the I dog didn't. pound. Shut the fuck up. I've blown so many dudes, but he a wasn't man, one of them. A man is talking. <laughs> Please mind your business. <laughs> so uh Lisa blew a dude in the dog pound who was in a wheelchair. And okay. she bragged about it. For years now, all yeah, I sudden, bragged about it. You did. I sucked his dick. <laughs> you did. And now, sucked for some the reason, shit out of dick. like usually, like the way that culture works now, you would lie about it back in the day, and then <laughs> now you'd be all about like, oh, I blew yeah, everybody. Totally. Like, you, you've like. Well, I do, but <laughs> no, I didn't. I just made out with him. I said it was like at the club. I sat on his legs that didn't work, and we made out. <laughs> did you Did you think his dick was his lips? What do you mean? Is that why you blew him? Like you thought it was his mouth? Because like <laughs> You're so stupid. I, mean, I Dan, why would I not tell you? I because, tell you, I'll tell you why. so many degrading things I know about why. myself. Why? I know why. Why? Because in 2020, you found racism. <laughs> like you finally no. dug deep. You did no. some, all your no, I've been racist for years. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> uh, cool. Um so what was it like to blow a guy in a wheelchair is what people oh want to know. Oh, my God. Well, he stayed in one place. <laughs> <laughs> Why, did you put his, you put his brake on? I didn't put the, <laughs> <laughs> the brakes on. We were good. <laughs> I can't move. I can't move. Yeah, it just feels like a regular able dick. It was weird. Okay. Yeah, so able-bodied. <laughs> no, I didn't. My kid can hear this probably. This is oh, great. <laughs> she's heard worse today, I'm sure. <laughs> You're the kind of like oh. you guys are the kind of parents no. like you're gonna you're gonna teach her how to blow tudes by watch, having her watch you and Johnny when she's so like, listen, stupid. listen, oh Joe, God. you're 11 now. It's time oh. you learn. <laughs> oh my God, you're, um, this is awful. Fast forward this. We should wrap it up. We should wrap it up. Yeah, we should. Wrap it up. Um, <laughs> let me. So when you made when you made out with who was yes, it? What's his name? You. What's his name? I think it was Daz. Daz. Mm -hmm. So. Was the wheelchair an appealing part of it? Was that like ooh. no? He was just hot. He was like super hot. He had long braids and like these greenish eyes. Let's let's into it. Okay, okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and <laughs> you know? where was this? I don't see 
bodies. I don't, uh, I don't see. This uh, is more embarrassing. It was at bar one, what's which that? was a bar. It was like the go-to bar back in the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, ooh, mm -hmm. you got your Monster Energy drink, Dan. Ooh. This episode 73 of Rare Form Radio is brought to you by Monster Energy. We are not Jesus. sponsored by them, but I just am fueled by be. Monster. I should, you're goddamn right. You really I really should. should be. How okay. many is that today, Dan? Uh, this is my second one. <laughs> so when is your third? I don't think I'll do like, three do you... tonight. It's a little late. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So Mixing I, it up. Yeah. I, I allow myself two without any kind of guilt. If I do three, it's like, I better be doing something with my time. Like I better be working on music or I better be <laughs> digging a cave. <laughs> what the fuck are you going to do on three months? Do you know that I would die after one? I have no, I have no question. You should try to drink two. <laughs> 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 okay. So, so you're at bar one, which I assume mm. is, a, is a black bar or what, what's the deal? It's just a bar. And uh, it was like the go-to hot nightclub. Okay. In the nineties. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Did you just go sit on his lap, or did he like whistle at you? How did it? I don't remember, dude. It was in the nineties. Like I don't remember, but. <laughs> so in the nineties. I'm pretty sure where I was just we were flirting, and then I sat down on his non-working legs, and then we just made out. It sounds to me like <laughs> in the nineties, you were still acting quite a bit then, and you're still yes. like, you're you're. You're famous at that point. So it sounds to me this is more like a make a wish foundation type thing for like. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Just like his little. He's a huge fan of Empty Nest. <laughs> and I bet he to... was. Yeah. That's what most of the... people know this, but making the... most... dreams come true. Most of the Dog Pound songs are about Empty Nest. <laughs> people don't people don't realize that, but it's true. They don't, but it's true. It's true. Yeah. Um, you recently got a uh, a new fan. To the to the Joe Lee fan club, which was pretty exciting. Sharon Osborne oh. gave you gave you a shout out on the social media. Yes, she did. That was really cool. That's kind of a cool one. That was really cool. Yeah, I've been a fan of hers for a while. So that was because that was nice. She's no bullshit. She doesn't do anything for approval of anybody. So you know, if she gives a compliment, it's as genuine yeah. as it gets. Yeah, she's cool. She we've exchanged messages. We're girlfriends now. She follows me. It's weird. Have you? Have you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, she's really sweet. Have you yeah. had you spoken to her ever before this the other day? No, I I thought I would have because we used to be managed. Uh, my band Kilola was <laughs> oh god <laughs> managed yeah. by Gloria Butler, who's Geezer Butler's wife, and they're all in Black Sabbath together. But I never met Sharon. I heard she was a great manager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want, to, you, want to, you want to expand upon Stop, that at all? Man. No, I don't know. <laughs> I do not. She was fantastic. <laughs> um, are you an Ozzy Osbourne fan? Yes. I love that. It's one of my favorite voices of all time. Yeah. If he yes. was in a wheelchair, do you think you'd blow him? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> You're cool like that, man. <laughs> I don't see color bodies <laughs> <laughs> cool that's really you're very open-minded that way <laughs> um what else is new lisa since, I I spoke, since we spoke two weeks ago <laughs> what's new uh i don't know i watched uh what the heck is the name of it the queen's gambit what's that it's a, a show on netflix that is insanely gorgeous you should you it, should watch it's it. gross Gorgeous. Oh, 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 oh. You yes, mean like also a, the, very gross. You mean the <laughs> cinematography? Oh my god. Yeah. I can it's 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 as if like I, I mean it, these people seem alien. So I'm watching these shots and I'm going, oh okay, I see. Oh, 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 you're going over. Oh, oh what? What? We're going up three stories? Oh, and around a corner? Holy shit. Like I don't even know is if it, they have machines to do that now. Is it is it is it actual practical shots or is it like effects or what? No, real shit. I mean, I think there's some splicing, but who cares? What's it's the show gorgeous. about? Like, yeah, I, it's I, about I, a professional chess player. Well, that sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when, sounds for a long time, I would always confuse checkers and chess. It would be really funny if I was like, hi, Johnny. <laughs> it would be really funny if I was like, it's about a professional checker player. <laughs> I've never played chess. I've always felt like uh, very intimidated to try to learn how to play chess. Yeah, it seems boring. Checkers, I'll play the fuck out of and, and do great, but chess is not not you're, really for you're me. You're max headrooming out again. God damn it, dude! You're you just max headroomed again. I don't know why, but it, it keeps like 
every like few minutes you're like goddamn wi-fi i think you know the way the wi-fi is fix i will i will um let me check to make sure everything's fine all Mm. right i think we're good earlier um you and i were texting and Mm -hmm. uh you told me to eat your ass yes which you've said many 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 times Yes, and um, I sent you back a gif of a of the kid eating fudge, mm-hmm. and I forget your res- I forget what your response was, but I wanted to ask you. Your I said th- accurate. Oh yeah, what are your thoughts on ass eating? Because um, we, we we've discussed on the show before, it's one of my favorite things in the world to do. Um, your, hold on. Your thought? Oh, is your hey, daughter Julie, here? You <laughs> <laughs> You guys feel she, like she's got to go right now. He's talking about okay, well, I, some, I know, but I have to respond. <laughs> is the thing. What? You have to say something to him? Mm-hmm. What's my oh, memo great. from last time when I had to be quiet? Huh? What? 100 bucks. Oh, right. Well, you weren't quiet, so. <laughs> don't shake Don't shake Dan down. Yeah, not going to happen. All right, come on. Seriously, okay. guys. Um, so pretend what I asked you about was about um, vegan Italian food. And uh, what are your thoughts on vegan Italian food? I love it. Um, no, I think it's fantastic. Um, wait for it. Okay. Yeah, no, it's great. Fucking love ass eating. <laughs> do you like? <laughs> do you like doing it? No. Well, he's not into it. But you are. I learned this when we were dating. <laughs> I get you. Gotta, uh, no, I mean, I don't. We just from talking about it. You didn't like. <laughs> you didn't talking about it. You didn't like roll him over and try to do it, and you were surprised by him like Mm-mm. get trying to get away from you. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much more to this, and for some reason, you're not telling me about it. <laughs> mm, I don't know if that's something you say on camera. It is. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, uh, tell it as if it was about somebody else. No, duh. <laughs> no, it was the same shit. <laughs> but if it were for me, are you going to put on your headphones soon? Huh? Are you putting on your headphones? I'm already in. Okay, great. Well, how did you hear me say that then? If you already yeah. in. Oh, <laughs> busted. <laughs> right fourth wall. Right. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's great for it. <laughs> I'm going to let it sit here for a minute. Oh, listen, listen. Are you ASMRing me? It's like <laughs> when you open uh, butt cheeks. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, that one, that one made me a little sweaty. <laughs> that one made me not feel very good. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so we're going to do this whole like episode about, about ass eating, if you don't mind. Are okay, you, cool. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> but you're a fan of it being done. Of course, yeah. Well, not of course. Some people are not. <laughs> That's weird. Those are dumb chicks. <laughs> what, do you think, what do you think it's about? Do you think it's because they've never had it done? Or do you think, is it kind of thing where, like, if you have it done, you're going to like it? But the people that say they don't like it, it's because they've never accepted it. I think it's like body shame, maybe. Just okay. feeling like, ooh, monster energy yeah. drink. I didn't see that there. Um, yeah, but but <laughs> I think if you, yeah, it's it's for me, it's like, oh my God, it's the dirtiest place in my body and you love it. <laughs> that was very uh, Molly Shannon. <laughs> that was very, like in my head. Yeah, very, see, Drink I would, sex. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> no wonder you only have one kid. Um, mm. <laughs> I would never allow it to happen to me. Yeah. I would never let it happen to me. I don't want you it. You feel emasculated? I don't know what it is. I don't need, I, I don't need any more stimulation. That's for sure. That's weird because you like fisting, and you I know, do. So. <laughs> that's not that's not cool to talk about. Oh, I mean, but I blew the guy from the dog pound. Whatever. Yeah, but, <laughs> but but what you and I did before we both got married is no one's business, Lisa. Right, right, right. It's true. So Never taking turns. No, taking turns fisting is hey, no buddy. one's business but our own. We can't. Hey, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our, our new handshake i don't hey. think <laughs> really gross you guys gotta watch the youtube uh to see lisa doing oh my her. god it's doing it again i don't Stop. know why it's probably me it's me it's you're just... frozen again okay it'll come back 
I don't know what's going on. It, it weirds me out. Like I'm like you're stuck in the matrix. It's you gotta try. Out. You got me now. Yeah. Okay, you got to try to be professional and just work through this kind of stuff. Okay, st- well, if it were professional, that wouldn't be happening, but. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you right now, by the way? I'm in my office. I'm a little shiny. Ew. Take care of that. A little bit, a little bit shiny. You know that we don't edit this, right? It's just like what, whatever you do, it just goes out. <laughs> do your makeup, talk to your family, make make dinner. <laughs> it's like the most distracting. I told them to leave me alone tonight. <laughs> And yeah. you see what happens. Oh, it's so. weird. It's weird that your daughter that like you fart on doesn't like uh, obey your directions. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> so crazy. The natural part um, of life, Daniel. I guess so. Um, <laughs> do you want to get, get serious for a minute? No. You don't? <laughs> no. Do you want me to have another panic attack? What's wrong? <sighs> Dan, tell, just tell me. What's wrong, Danny? <laughs> I, had a friend, I had a friend die. Enjoying the podcast? If you'd like to show support for Rare Form, there are a couple of ways. Become a patron at patreon.com slash rareformradio. Make a one-time donation or choose from a few subscription levels paid monthly for extra benefits. Those extra benefits include bonus episodes not available to the public, exclusive live streams, more interactions with the gang, along with other special perks that will change over time. Choose your level of donation and know that your contributions go to keeping the show running and growing, paying crews behind the scenes, and just supporting independent artists. That's patreon.com slash rareformradio. You can also get Rareform merch by going to rareformradio.threadless.com. T-shirts, hoodies, mugs, all kinds of silly shit. We're constantly adding new things and limited time only goodies. That's rareformradio.threadless.com. You can also help build the show by subscribing, leaving a review, and most importantly, leaving us a rating on iTunes and Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Lastly, follow the show on Twitter and Instagram by searching at Rare Form Radio. Thanks for supporting independent entertainment. Uh, this guy, good time, Dan. That's what I'm going to fucking call you. you Sorry know, about your friend or whatever. You, <laughs> and, and, and you know him. You, what? Who? You know him. Why would you tell me this here? Who? Well, you didn't let me finish, but I want you to feel bad. He died five years ago, but it's J- Jeremy Brown from the Bad Apples. Remember? I know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I want to talk about Jeremy for a minute because uh, a couple of weeks ago, it was his, it would have been his 40th birthday, but he died oh. five years ago. Do you remember him at all? Of course. Yeah. That guy was wild. He was right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was, uh, he was in the band for like maybe six months, nine months or so. And he was really uh, talented too. He was, I always said like he, mm-hmm. he played very tasteful guitar parts. He played guitar like slash. So I like the way his body moved when he played guitar. He seemed like yeah. so like it was a lot of shoulders. You you, yeah. you kind of just nailed it there. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I nicknamed him Slice because he played like Slash, and he hated that nickname so Can't bad. Can't imagine why. Well, <laughs> Slash was like his idol too, so uh, it bummed mm-hmm. him out. But he played guitar so well, and he was like one of the sweetest guys I've ever met in my life. And the fact that it was his 40th birthday just made me like freak out again about the passing of time <laughs> and but in a good way like remembering when we also used to play in bands together and how fun that was yeah like i think that was the best time of my life sure yeah you know mm-hmm. going to see going to see uh czar play at spaceland and oh yeah seeing you play and the big city rock dudes um yeah that's so weird i thought about big city rock today out of nowhere really yeah i was thinking of that song that they have do you know what you want? No, it's the um, Elizabeth. One of these days I'm gonna get it. One of these days I'm gonna get it. Oh, that's right. That one. <laughs> I don't know that one. I don't think. Oh, it was like one of their early releases. You know what one I like? I am just a man, a man in a city, city in a state, state in a country, country in a world. Does it ring a bell? Mm-mm. Let me do the whole it thing sounds, from the top. That sounds terrible. I am just a man. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> They so, should not play that song. <laughs> you, um, my favorite story of Jeremy, I just want to give a little tribute to Jeremy real quick. He was one of the sweetest people you could ever meet in your life. Mm-hmm. But he also, like, wasn't the smartest guy you've ever met either. But he was, like, very, very sweet, not like, um, not like a scholar type. So mm-hmm. one time we were driving in Nate's car, the old guitar player from the Bad Apples. 
Nate was driving, Jeremy was shotgun, and I was in the back seat. And we're driving down Fairfax, and you know how there's that silent movie theater on Fairfax? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We drive past that, and Jeremy Brown looks at the silent movie theater and goes, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and we're both like, what? That's the... The so silent, very clearly. <laughs> it's, it's the silent movie theater. And Jeremy like looks down, looks around, he goes, You mean like for deaf people? <laughs> and Nate, without saying a word, Nate just put his blinker on, turned the car, parked on the curb, put it in park, and just looks at Jeremy and goes, What the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> like, no, it's not a, a silent movie theater is not for deaf people. It's back when movies <laughs> when movies didn't have sound. Like and the, the you know, and he's oh. like, it took him. We had to explain it for like two or three minutes. <laughs> like he didn't know that movies didn't used to have sound, so he the idea of a silent movie theater. He oh thought it was for God. deaf people. Oh, and it just like it's <laughs> it so encapsulates his sweetness and innocence. I froze, didn't I? Did I freeze? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so yeah, you did. I'm I just, glad you. I wasn't gonna call it out. <laughs> well, you froze too. I just wanted to uh, give a, a quick little bit of love to my old bandmate and friend Jeremy Brown, who's been gone for almost five years. Happy 40th birthday! I love you, Slice, and uh, I Great. wish you were still here. He's elsewhere, pissed off at you now for calling him Slice. So now, good. Lisa, can you yeah. tell a dead friend story? I'll wait. Oh my God, he was so many. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to really. Okay. Um, I was watching another uh, show last night called, uh, um, oh, what the fuck's it called? The movie, the documentary that Alex the Winter did. The comedy store thing? No, no, no. That Alex Winter did about um, child actors. Oh, was what ca- was it called? Is it called I Kid Actors? I don't know. But I, don't, I think, I, f- I watch five minutes of everything and then I fall <laughs> asleep. Because he starts movies at like 10 o'clock and I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds well, good. You know that you can watch movies another time. I'm bu- I don't have time during, the- I swear to God, the only time I have is at the end of the day when s- once Jolie goes to bed and I have like an hour and then he puts it on and I'm like, I'm at- if it's not like, I don't know, Real Housewives or some mm. garbage, I will fall over and sleep. You see that the uh, Real Housewives production was shut down because of COVID? Which one? Uh, Beverly Hills. Oh, is that? Dude, don't go. Oh. What? I got to edit that out. How I gotta, I gotta, oh, because, shit. yeah, what? because she, because this that person does not like uh, it being talked about publicly. But yes, um, that person is on it, but they uh, they got shut down. But anyway, um, would the kid actors documentary be something that you would be interested in seeing since you are a kid actor? <laughs> yes, I'm still going out. Eight to twelve, they've up to me. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, watch it. Y- you hold it. <laughs> yeah, man. I got. I got, I got this good? shit for you. There was, was one re- really good one we saw about this hotel, the Magic Castle Hotel. I can't remember what the name of it was. I don't. I've never even heard of it. I've Did never you even. What that I, was? I've never been to the Magic Castle. He's acting like he's not listening to me now. A house of actors. I see how it is. Oh, 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 hey, Johnny. <laughs> you fucking, <laughs> you're listening the whole time. Yeah, I just have to try to get, yeah. get listen to Spotify. <laughs> A house of distractors. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it was good. It was, uh, I, I had no idea that people like, I didn't know Mila Jovovich and I Evan went to Rachel. high school with her. Did you? Yes. What were your thoughts? didn't like her how come <laughs> i didn't um dish, dish. she wasn't particularly nice okay um but she was a much faster person than i was at the same age what, is, what do you mean uh, faster she had seen a lot of stuff and you know i don't want to i don't want to she talks about it a little bit i mean the part i had to pause the movie but there's she's talking about it currently where she was young and uh a lot of guys that like, took advantage of her when like when she was acting and mm, she said she mm. saw she kind of alluded that she saw a lot as yeah, a young she person was that very she was mature have. she was she very looked mature. it yeah she yeah. looked she looked like it yeah um she also wasn't particularly nice to me in, oh, okay. in high school so why do you think did you try I to fart just, on her arm or no uh i don't know because there was other kids there who were very nice to me mila okay. <laughs> but, uh, were you, were, yeah. was it competitive do you think like because no, you're both she acting was like or? a fucking supermodel no there's there was no competition it was just she just 
didn't like me. I mm. think she she was very um I mean she was very mature and I hadn't at this point had I was 17 and hadn't had sex so they would call me Mary. Ah. <laughs> uh, mhm. Virgin Mary, yeah. I get it, right? Right, okay. that's the one. Clever, you know, clever, so clever. Funny. <laughs> you know, so she didn't I think uh, she's just like get this fucking child away from me. I mean, she'd take like cigarette breaks and shit for school. You and know? you guys and were the, like, you guys oh were the, and you guys were the same age. <laughs> yeah, I think we're pretty close to it. Yeah, they were showing pictures of her in this documentary, and I don't know the ages, but she looked. Yeah, she had a very adult look. Yeah, it seems she, like wasn't, her she wasn't. She was an adult. I mean, like, yeah, she was. You know, twelve years old. Twelve years old coming here. I think she's emancipated super early, also. Well, the way they describe it in this movie is uh, she was born in Russia and her mom was like a movie star in Russia. Oh, is that right? And then like her her mom's heyday ended in Russia. Mm-hmm. So the mom had the idea to move the family to L.A. And the mom got a job as a housekeeper at a really wealthy. You got me? Did you hear that? You got me? Mm, now I do. Okay, okay. I missed all of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, her... Her mom and dad moved her to um, L.A. as a kid because her mom was a famous actress in Russia and her heyday was over. So she got a job as a as a maid in like a really wealthy producer or director's house. And the mom thought that, you know, they would discover her again, like her beauty and like, oh, my God, you should act. Mm-hmm. But but that never happened. They didn't like for some reason they didn't decide to put the maid in a movie. Um, <laughs> so, in, so that's when the mom pushed Mila into acting to like mm. so the so the mom could still have it. Wasn't taste. she a model first though? She might have been, and she she talked about how she never wanted to act. She never had any interest in acting, and it made her uncomfortable. And she was bad at it. it her yeah, her acting made me uncomfortable. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys felt I the same. Saw blue Blue Lagoon, or what was it? The no, Return that's uh, no, that's and, and that's. Like, Brooke Shields, isn't it? <laughs> no, Return to the Blue. Wait, what's the second one? There's like blue. We probably should edit this all the, of this the out. The Blue Lagoon, <laughs> Blue Lagoon Strikes Back, Part, I think, is the Part second Deux. one. Yeah, Electric Boogaloo. Right, yes. right, right, right. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. Blue and, Lagoon Part uh, Two, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, she did a lot of like. <laughs> That's a lot for me. That was yeah, a lot. she, she kind of said that she was embarrassed by her skills. Yeah. We probably should edit all of this out. No, she'll ne- she'll- <laughs> listen. Mila Jovovich does not Nobody listen to Rare Form her. Radio. No, don't. Right. No one. Whatever you do, don't tag her in all the social media about this episode <laughs> at this timestamp. No, seriously, and, don't. No, seriously, don't. And don't tag Lisa Raphael either. Just don't do that, everybody. Please, oh, I'm man. I'm pleading with you. Don't tag at Mila Jovovich and this is at ridiculous. Lisa Raphael. That would be you, not Ella. cool. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna forget that you're mean to me in school. No, now yeah, she we knows. Have, we, we fought. We fought in school. Wait, physically? Like, no, it never got physical. No, oh. it never got physical. But it was like I remember one day I was like, "Fuck you, Mila." <laughs> it was like, and she was like, "Okay, whatever." I can see you <laughs> because, like, you're a Jersey girl. I can see you like <laughs> flinging your hair back. One of those things. Hmm. Hmm. Did you have those yeah. uh, in high school? Did you have those tidal wave bangs? <laughs> Yeah. You did. You know, they used to call me, they used to call me the wave. No, they didn't. <laughs> I've been kidding. I swear to God. I would get ready for school and my fucking bangs would be like this high with aquanet. Like you could, I don't even know how I would breathe in that room. There was the, the entire room was filled with aquanet. It was Jersey. And, and uh, yeah, it was it was wide and it was very crunchy, very mm. crunchy, curly crunchy. And the higher you could get your hair, like the cooler you were. I'm changing your name in my phone right now. Thank you. The wave. <laughs> Lisa, the wave done. Yeah, they called me uh, Cranberry also. I never thought that one made any sense because my I had Auburn highlights. And that's a dumb, called, that's a dumb yeah, nickname. Right? Thank you, Dan. I thought so too. Like, and, uh, well, nice burn, you fucking retards. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was one. They called me the thumb. This kid, Mike, who made my life hell. And Robert, Mike and Robert. They're like, um, hey, Lisa. Do you ever go to New York for auditions? And I said, Yeah, I do. And I said, You ever go to 42nd Street? And I'm like, you know, I guess at this point, uh, 12. I don't really know the significance of 42nd Street. And I say, Yeah. <laughs> and I go, Oh, you fucking thumb. And I didn't understand what that meant. 
And like, you're a hooker asking for rides on 42nd Street, Thumb. <laughs> Wait, yeah. hold on. I got I to gotta change my, your name and my phone again. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Any more before I have to choose uh, a no, I think, one? I think that's it. The same kid, though, one day was really nice to me. I got a crazy, like my first crazy zit. I was going through puberty, and I got it here. And so my nose was, like, malformed. I looked so fucking weird. Mm. And somebody made fun of, of my zit, and I started crying. And he goes, it's okay, Lisa. Everybody gets zits once in a while. <laughs> like, the same guy? You, yeah, the same guy. Wow. He was, he was very sweet. So, and then the last day of school, I almost killed the other guy's mother by accident. The last day of school. <laughs> I love Jersey so fucking much. <laughs> it was, we were, we were fucking just crazy, crazy. Everybody's crazy. Um, my friend Nuno Catano, who has passed. It's oh, a dead friend. God rest your soul, Nino. Caput. Nuno. <laughs> Nuno. I would go to dance parties. Nuno say, Capriccio. Uh, my God rest your soul. Nuno Catano. <laughs> Catano Menudo. Don't break uh, up. Thinking about you every second of every day. Love you. God, praise Jesus. <laughs> this guy would, he would just light my fire. Like I would, the two of us would just be, we were in the principal's office every fucking day together, every day. And so he, it was the last day of school. It was three minutes before the bell rang. Eighth grade, I was like, all right, I'm a free woman. He goes, Rafael, I fucking dare you to throw that book out the fucking window. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, that seems reasonable. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's the last day of school. What are they going to do? <laughs> I threw the book out the window. Like a textbook? This, like a textbook, like the fucking history book. It's so it's like 20 day. pounds, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost killed Robert Wood's mom. She was a crossing guard by that much. I can't wait, wait, even oh. get in like way bigger trouble, by the way, for that. It did just, hit her or it missed I her? I didn't. I missed her. Are oh, you kidding? She would be God. so dead. Well, I didn't know if it hit her shoulder or like her labia no. or something. I don't mm -mm. know. Mm -mm. You would instantly kill her. I got in trouble uh, doing that same kind of like, Kids are so fucking stupid. It's unbelievable. Yes, yes. At least like kids nowadays won't go outside, so there's no trouble out there. But we used to like <laughs> me and Venuga, your, your buddy Venuga. My buddy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to hide behind bushes and throw rocks at cars <laughs> that were passing by nice. and we hit a dude on a motorcycle once oh. and like have you ever ridden a motorcycle uh, or you, you, have you ever been on a bicycle where like it gets like wobbly and you almost yeah. lose control yeah. so we, we hit this dude on a motorcycle with a fucking rock and he starts doing the death wobble on the road and like mm -hmm. he's going ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, and he maintained he didn't crash but like time <sighs> time just stopped for like it was like whoa whoa and we're like what have we done <laughs> <laughs> and like you didn't kill him though right he was okay he was fine and the worst part is we just <laughs> went right back to throwing rocks at cars like we just nice. saw this guy almost die <laughs> no, but like are you kidding me? i think we made a right, rule well, we can get the job done we can do this <laughs> we made a rule <laughs> like no more motorcycles. We can still throw at cars, but don't throw at motorcycles. And uh, that's ridiculous. We, yeah. never, we never did it again. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll tell you other stuff off the air. Off the air? No, no, no. No, oh, I'm not telling about, you. Listen. I like not being in jail. It's fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whatever you did in high school. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 I still don't feel comfortable. We'll really? Talk about it. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to make a note. Mm -hmm. And we're or, and we're gonna talk about it next week. All right, what, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it next week. No, I'm not talking about it on the air. I'm okay, gonna give you a week. You gonna have a week to think about it. Yeah, all right. I'll wait. I'll make some shit up. Give me give me like a, a a hint word so you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, plastics. Plastics. <laughs> yeah. It really has to do with plastics. No. Oh well, I'm, not, I, I'm not doing it, Dan. I I'm gotta know. It. You gotta. You got to tell you. Oh, fuck. But we can't talk about it on here. Really? Really. Did you hurt? It's did, crazy did and you... juicy. Oh. <laughs> no, for real. It involves. Okay. It involves one of wait the. A minute, biggest... Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. I have, I have an idea. Okay. We can save it for another show for a Patreon story for like an extra. So, so a limited audience. I don't see any of that money. I'm not fucking doing that. <laughs> Listen, you are. You are. Yeah, right. I will tell you a story. I will tell you a story that make your fucking toes curl. 
I, I swear to God, it's okay. not even involving me. It's okay. involving, I was with one of the biggest stars in the world. Like one of the biggest, I'm like to date. I think I know. I, the, I know. I right? might've told you the story. Did you come to a pool party at your house once? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did we go to his house for 4th of July and he kicked us out? Right before the fireworks started? <laughs> he didn't kick us out? Yes, when? he did. Really? Yes. What happened? We can't say his name? No. Okay. We went to this, truly, like maybe at this time, the most famous man in the world. And uh, Yeah, yeah, true. And he had a 4th of July party at, in, at his place in Malibu. And he, you, he invited you, of course, because you guys grew up together. And... I was so excited. Like, this is just, I was still kind of new to LA. So to be going to this actor's house was like, holy shit, this is so neat. Like, I love movies and it was just cool. We show up there and I recognize everybody there. It's like all the, all the people that you guys grew up with, who I grew up watching on TV were there. And at this time, this guy was dating the biggest supermodel in the world. And, um, oh wait, I'm frozen. I'm frozen, right? Okay. So at this yes. at this time yes. at this okay, at, at this time this guy was dating the most famous supermodel in the world and um she hadn't shown up yet. So right before fireworks were supposed to happen, she showed up to the party and at that moment the famous dude's best friend who was like the enforcer kicked everybody out except for the very <laughs> small posse. This guy had a barge, a barge rented on the ocean with the fireworks to go off. And he kicked all of us out, including you. All of us had to leave oh right God. before the fireworks started. So we missed 4th of July. Oh. oh. So that's your friend. Those are the people that Lisa <laughs> hangs out with. Okay, so what happened? What happened? What happened? I can't tell you now. Why? I can't, I can't tell you now because I will tell you off the air. I'm Wait, not you, you said you were going to tell a story about this person. No, I would tell you the story. I'm not telling this. I can't do it. I just tried to do a big buildup. <laughs> Sucks for you. Fucking hate you. <laughs> no, I'll tell you off the air. Okay, and... all right. And then if everyone listening, she'll tell me, and I'll tell you. I'll tell you guys later. Um, <laughs> so enough. right right before we uh, we got on to do the show, you really hurt me, and I'd like to. <laughs> I'll give you a second to pull your fucking shit together before I go forward. Get it out. Get it out, you piece of shit. Get it out. <laughs> I didn't even make the joke. I didn't even make the joke. I was just the way. <laughs> Take your time. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't yeah. look like you. Let me <laughs> <laughs> let me fucking go to the tape real quick. I posted a <laughs> you fucking cunt, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> 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 laughing, laughing so hard you're choking oh. on my <laughs> on my sadness. <laughs> You're such a fucking... Oh, my God. It, this is not my fault. This is not my fault. I just... All you did... You tech... Oh, I was. I, I looked at okay. your Okay, give me, give, me give me your version of what happened, and then I'll r try to read all the bahahas you sent me in text. I'm looking at your story, and I'll show everybody. We'll put the we'll picture on the screen, too. But Okay, well, so Dan <clears throat> says... When somebody tells you look like somebody else and it depresses. <laughs> yeah, when someone says you you look someone and you agree yeah, that's and then always you get... a bad well, that's always a bad thing. When somebody's like, you know, you look like it's just like just get ready to take it on the chin automatically. It's like, ah, oh, your cousin Ethel. Awesome. You know, you know who B. Arthur is? <laughs> Her dad. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, Dan, somebody told Dan that he looked like this person. <laughs> Frank, throw it on the screen right now. Thank you. Oh, God, you fuck. <laughs> just, will you please pull together, please? Like, I, 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 I can, I'm, just, I'm watching you laugh right now. I can see you. <laughs> 
I can see you, Lisa. Oh I can see God. you and hear you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dan, it doesn't look like you. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't look like that, then why are you laughing so much? And why did you text all this shit to me? <laughs> Listen, hold on. You first of all, you you can't say it doesn't look like me because. <laughs> I posted this picture of a Russian guy with a shitty haircut, the Ooh. worst glasses, tiny little hands, a we weird clothes holding a gun. I gotta put it away. And, <laughs> and Lisa, Lisa responds to my story and she says, LOL, is this real? With like a bunch of smiley faces. I said, yes, motherfucker, it's real. And there's like 1,400 ha ha ha's in there. Like, like probably dozens and hundreds of ha ha ha's. Oh my God. Who sent this to you? And I said, and this is the part that hurts me so bad. <laughs> this is the part that hurts so bad. You said, and I quote, you're my friend, by the way. We've been friends for 21 years. And like, I, 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 I saw your daughter when she was like a baby. And I've like, uh, we live together. Well, you and I have lived together. We've, We've been in bands together. We've gone through so much stuff, mm -hmm. traumas and trials and tribulations and triumphs. <laughs> Pick me up from the airport and ask me if I had the flu. Did I? <laughs> oh, is this, is this when you... <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute, too. <laughs> okay, so I post this picture of this horrendous-looking dude that someone else already said I looked like, and you said... I thought you photoshopped your face onto this <laughs> shit. And then you said, I'm dying, followed by an <clears throat> another 300 ha ha ha's. <laughs> so you can't sit here oh and God. say, it doesn't Ooh. look like you when you thought I photoshopped my fucking head onto the body. Explain yourself and try not to hurt me this time. A tear. <laughs> A tear. My heart is crying. <laughs> like if I had a Kleenex, I could reach no, into my it body. Look, it looks like you made your face real tiny on this guy's face. It's the thing. <clears throat> I would say if I had to pick one particular attribute, I would say that his hairstyle's whack. But his face is fine. But it does look like your face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh like this anymore. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna pass out. You oh, said my hands you are said, so funny. I thought you and photoshopped. Arms. I thought you photoshopped your face onto this shit. I'm dying. <laughs> ha 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 ha. And then I said, I said no. It's a real fucking Russian. And you said so fucking funny. And I said it hurts so much worse that you thought I photoshopped my actual head on there. Followed by another. That's when I lost it. Another yeah. I'm dying with six <laughs> exclamations, and then another two hundred ha 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 ba ba ha ha. And uh, you said I'm dying. I said I'm so not. Ooh. I'm deadpan right Ooh. now. Ooh. To which you responded, ha 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 ba ba ha ba ha ha. And then again, I'm like, yeah, uh, this I'm, is transcribed. <laughs> I said, yeah. I'm deep in sadness, and you said, I'm <gasps> sorry. I'm dying right now. <laughs> and that's and that's our friendship in a nutshell. Ooh, that's so funny. I, I, I mean, it's just not funny at all, Dan. <laughs> and, and listen, you know how you do those weird things? You put your faces on people's bodies. You do yes. little dances and, and shit. And that's the problem is that you thought I used my own face and that's well, what hurts me so bad right his now. His face isn't bad. It's just the hair. What? His face is the worst. His face is the worst part of it. I don't know. I think it's the glasses and the I'm gonna, hairstyle. I'm going to rethink this residency situation. All right. I can't be hurt <laughs> week in, week out. <laughs> well, don't send me shit like that. Obviously, right. you thought it was of note because you put it in your story. I was hoping I would get more <laughs> like, oh, my God. Okay, here's the truth. This is some funny shit. I wasn't even going to talk about this. <laughs> so I put that up. Hoping, thinking, people are like, oh, man, I just don't see it. I got like 13 or 14 crying emoji faces, which means 
We agree, dude. I can't breathe. Like, I can't breathe. Like, Good. I hope you fucking die. I hope you... Ooh, let me change I my hope... breathing. <laughs> Listen, ahead, I think I think your, your pulsometer is going down. I hope you have a panic attack, and I hope that you don't Don't say it. that. That's terrible. <laughs> terrible thing to say something. But, like, literally, I got, like, 13, 14 responses of people laughing, which means that they agree, and I just... I don't know why I posted it, and... One hundo. So, so, <clears throat> I have all so, my breath. So this is good for you. Hurting me is good for you. <laughs> I'm thriving. <laughs> You're thriving? <laughs> I fucking Johnny, the worst. Should I ask Johnny if he thinks it looks like you? Yes. No. John I don't, Dunn. Know, I don't know if I can take it. You're good. You're good. John. <laughs> Johnny. Stop pretending you can't hear me. Come here. Look. Yeah. Blasting Spotify. What? It's... Does that look like Dan? No. You don't think that looks like Dan? I'm gonna be. Why are you laughing? No, I want. You're laughing very hard. No, no, we no, need. No, no. We need honesty. How do you know I'm laughing really hard? He can't hear anything, but he knows I'm laughing really hard. Your sounds. <laughs> I'm not hard R. <clears throat> okay, listen. Is that Dan? No. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> oh shit! Like someone who has a similar like sometimes goatee. This looks like you when you were very young. I'm stepping out of this one. Not now, but very young, Dan. I feel so, hair. oh, I feel so oh. exposed and vulnerable and. <clears throat> fuck. Uh, Dan, listen, why don't you show everybody my, the picture you chose for my little calling picture when I call your phone, the picture. Like, so I'm, I don't know. Call me. I can feel sorry for you. Call me right now. All right. I just will. Oh, wait, actually, don't, don't call me. Don't call me because it'll fuck up the Zoom. Okay, I won't. I'll pull up the picture though. Um, can you find it? Yeah, of course <clears> I can. <throat> All right. <laughs> I mean, I gotta, sh- oh I gotta not God, show. I so fucking hard. I-, I gotta not show the other pictures that I have. Oh like a- God. Lisa oh, the Lisa, God. Lisa the wave done everybody. <laughs> <laughs> See this this is weird because this is like over ten years ago, and you look. 25 years older than you do now you know right like like <laughs> like I'm, I'm holding this up i can't believe this is the same person and this is not a costume i know that's that was a rough a particularly rough period for me also i look so fucking bobo i can't with I that like photo I, I feel like i'm on drugs like you don't even <laughs> look right you look like no, you look so weird you look so like you're weird. no less than 64 years old and you've had a rough <laughs> like a you started smoking at seven kind of life and like <laughs> I'm gonna have a panic attack from laughing, I swear to God. Do you know I've laughed so much I feel like I'm completely out of breath? Yeah. Yeah. At this my expense. Amazing. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> um this is so I mean we can't I can't show the whole body picture. Or do I have it oh, in here? God, oh, I think so I bad. do. No, you don't need to show all that. Probably should. You though. don't need it. you know what the craziest thing was? During that period, I was filming um, Made for MTV. <laughs> yeah. Wait. They're like, hey. What, what was that show? Oh, when you become something? When you like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, I what was you... like the, the rock coach. <laughs> you were? <laughs> yes. I think I never saw that. <laughs> yeah. That's too bad. Where is this <laughs> fucking picture? Oh, my God. You don't need God. to find it. It's okay. I've Lisa, never looked worse in my life. Lisa, I'm pretty, com- I'm pretty mm, confident. There is without any. We, you and I have sent the worst photographs ever to each other. It's really true. We've really visually assaulted each other over the years. Do you delete anything I send you? Oh my God, I have to delete some stuff immediately. Yeah, because I don't want to see it again. <laughs> what are you looking at? I mean, what are you looking at? okay, I'm going to show it to you. And if you want it blurred, we can blur it. Okay. <laughs> oh Lord. What is it? I don't know what the fuck that is. That's your pad. That? That's your pad on your leg. <laughs> oh, it made a little heart. <laughs> you don't have to blur that. Oh, yeah? All right, cool. <laughs> um, oh, my God. If we d- Sometime we should do a deep dive mm. on, on these pictures that we've sent. Like, I don't remember most of these. Oh, God. Well, I got a new phone, so I had to delete my messages. There is so mm. much shit in this. Yeah, I <laughs> know. We, we send each other a lot pictures. of people. It's really weird. My God, what kind of show are we doing here? I don't know. What are we doing here? Oh, I love this one where I, where I made the turd come out of your mouth. Oh, that was rude. Well, and he'll just send me pictures with like a piece of shit coming out of my mouth. I'm singing. I'm like, I'm like, God bless me, so pure. Like, oh, 
and he will Photoshop a piece of shit coming out of my mouth. <clears throat> but the, the best part is it's a piece of my shit. Like it's one of my shit pictures. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got who's that? Oh, that's, that's you. Me. Dude, I'm so fucking hot. <laughs> that's not hot. There's yes, a couple, there's like, a couple where you're a pretty handsome fella, but yeah, I like when I'm a dude. Um Lisa, we are just off the rails. <laughs> we are just like so far out to sea. Like there's no coming back from this one. That's all right. Um, I'm spending so much time trying to find this one picture of you and I just, I can't, I can't what find it. What's the, describe it. It's the, it's the original picture of you with, of, of you as a 64 year old woman in your sweats and the whole, <laughs> the whole I'm image. Wearing, ironically, I'm wearing a Tony Robbins t-shirt. <laughs> <sighs> What's oh my god! I sent you a, a naked picture of myself in a bathtub. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Let me see this. Frank, blur this. I don't want this one seen. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't remember. I, I honestly have no memory <laughs> me of me either. Jesus. Oh my god! Here's uh, what. I was just gonna say. You also say that you've you've seen me nude. Like you said, 20 or 30 times So okay. earlier, which is I, not true. There's been people true. that I have had intercourse and sexual relations with who I've seen naked less than I've seen you naked. Hang on. Okay. I'll start over. <laughs> there, <laughs> there, are, that's true. there are people that I have had sexual relations with who I've seen naked less than I've seen you naked. That's not true. True. No. You, you used to like... Oh, like there was, a, you used to like show like show your asshole to people like often. You showed me your vag at Kalola practice before your husband was in the band. Um, <laughs> what I would just whip it out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was a little crazy. So though. You, there was. A, you, the, I remember this one specifically. We were rehearsing at that place in Burbank and mm -hmm. uh, Nightingale. Nightingale, mm. and you and I got there first. I think we rode together. <laughs> and Mike Ball was coming down the hallway, and you saw him there. And you closed the door and quickly pulled your dress up and bent over and showed me everything. And then, <laughs> then you're like, and then you said, "Shh," and then opened the door like, "Mike." <laughs> it was so weird. It was so random and weird. <laughs> like I appreciate it. It's cool. I don't remember. I swear to God, not one memory. That's I mean, it was weird. it was quick, but like guys, guys remember nudity. Girls don't remember it as much, but guys yeah. don't forget this kind of flash stuff. Flash and assholes. Who does that? That's yeah, a, I, flash what? hole. You're a real flash, flash hole. hole. <laughs> yeah, flash hole. Um, and then another time, uh, Vanuga and I <laughs> walked in your front door. We literally we walked in your front door, and you were coming down the stairs from a shower with a towel on, and you just <laughs> opened the towel and went like yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> And like <laughs> your knees, your knees went all the way apart, so like we could see the vag. <laughs> and you're up like five steps. So like, we, like I've, I've scarred you. I'm sorry. <laughs> saw your vulva. Saw the whole deal. Like but, you were uh, so high up, we almost saw your asshole yeah. from the front. Saw, like future Jolie. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Be there soon. Be there soon. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's crazy. You know, I think I, there may be something to this because when I was in my twenties, I was like really big on doing the the what do you call it when you like run onto a field naked? Uh, streak, streaking. Streaking, but I did it in like Olive Garden, <laughs> like I, in front of my grandmother. That's my. This is the thing. Yeah, yes. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, and then there was the taco stand. I should there was this uh, taco place on La Brea. And I remember I sh I got out of the car naked and rolled up and like ordered two tacos. <laughs> I mean, I was it's see, cool. You think I'm I mean, wild now. <laughs> no, I see. I I'm someone who I can appreciate it. Like it is. You have more balls than I do. I would never. You've I've seen never me naked, so you know. <laughs> true. That's true. I um. I mean, they're just really big lips. <laughs> gross. Gross. Thank um, you. I've never been a naked guy. I've never been like. <laughs> I never showed my dick because it's funny. I've never like, I don't moon people. <laughs> like I have, like if I had balls, I would do the Ugh, satin gum thing like three times a day, like your monster yeah. energy drink. I'm surprised Every time you, you have I'm monster energy. Ugh, satin gum. <laughs> yeah, it is completely your move. Like you are, you're a dude in a woman's mm. body. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, you're <laughs> welcome. Um, yeah, I've never, I've never had that the nude bug before, but I, I appreciate people that it's do. It's fun. Yeah, it's um, fun. 
Navarro used to do this thing. Oh, no, he did occasionally where, like, he would get blown or something. And he would, like, do you remember DJ Scribble? <laughs> I mean, he was, he was, like, a famous DJ before DJs were, like, kind of cool. Yeah. But he, he was, like, the best one for a while. So they used to do these, like, live mashups together. And <clears throat> after, one of the, after one of the performances, Dave was like, oh, man, I've been working out hard. Like, feel my abs, Scrib. And DJ Scribble feels them. He's like, what the fuck? Dave had jizz all over his stomach. <laughs> he, just, he just made his bro feel all the oh, cum. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's cool shit. Oh. You would do that kind of stuff. Yeah, I like his style. So I mean, like, the, I'm like, I mean, yeah. the airport. So, <laughs> so I picked Lisa up from the airport one time oh with, uh, with her ex-boyfriend, who was a super cool dude. And <laughs> really, really, really. Uh, well, who was it? Was it? Uh, the, uh, the, don't the, say the yeah yeah the painter. I know no uh, B. Yeah he yeah with, he had the, had the brother yeah okay I didn't know yeah. that I'm sure yeah. it was, whatever. We so yeah. for some reason I picked you guys up <clears throat> in his car. It's like some old like shitty muscle car mm-hmm. and like like dickheads. You both sat in the back seat like I'm your fucking chauffeur or chauffeur <laughs> or something. <laughs> Which weirdly. I haven't thought about until now how weird that is to uh, do. How weird that is to do to a friend. Yeah, um, that is kind of weird. So I'm driving. Again, don't remember that. Right. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm in the. I'm driving, <laughs> and you guys are in the back seat, and all of a sudden I feel like a <laughs> finger go across under my nose, and the instant recognizable <laughs> smell of a very unclean vagina, like. I feel like you hadn't showered that month, perhaps. <laughs> and like maybe a hundred guys pulled a train on you and all of them had schmegma or something. It was like I remember he said he went just like this. He he wanted to offend Oh no, 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 hold on, hold on. I was offended. Make no mistake. You went, he went okay, so it was this. He went, Do you have the flu? <laughs> It was so like I almost threw up from laughing. See, that's I, the oh kind my, of thing oh. I, I should have thrown up, but I think I was so in shock. Like I was so just like, oh, oh, how it I've never, I've never beef, baby. Like wow. usually a dirty Sanchez is done to the girl that you're fucking. You don't usually do it to the guy driving you home from the airport. <laughs> you just say you're a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that's best. Yeah. Here's that's... your tip. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we've stayed friends. Like I, he's done so many bad things to me. <laughs> we've told the inhaler story oh. where you, you guys shit in a box, oh. and um, man, I just don't. And like, how weirdly angry you get about the weirdest stuff. And what do I get angry about? You hold grudges, and you... I fucking do not. Ho. Johnny, so get over here. Oh, John, please. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Oh, no, he's we'll... pissing me off because this motherfucker is listening to everything. No, we'll, when we'll I get... call him, he's like, oh, fucking deaf now. I'll have him on on his own he's special his episode. headphones on. John! <laughs> oh, God. Don't yell on the fucking microphone. <laughs> here. Um, do you think that... Come here. Can you come here? Um... Do you think that I hold grudges? That or, I or, think... or, or that you fly <laughs> off the handle easily? Oh, you didn't say that. I did. That, yes, I can confirm. Okay. You but do I, hold grudges. I don't, I don't hold grudges. I wish I held mm. grudges better because sometimes I'm like, sure I forget a person's an act. No, seriously, there's definitely people I should not be talking to. Like who? Um, no, I'm not going to get into it now. But. <laughs> Damn, I was trying to get you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I, I, I do that. I'm just like, ah, mm, lovable scamp. We're friends again. <laughs> right. And then like a week later, I'm like, oh my God, you suck again. <laughs> you're, my you're, fault, my hands. The, the, my thing hands that's <laughs> the thing that's frustrating <laughs> with you is that you will, I think you'll read into a situation or take something the wrong way. And mm-hmm. rather, th- rather than ask about it, you get like vengefully angry and get weird and defensive and like accusatory. And then someone will explain, Oh no, no. Like I was in the hospital with my mom who's sick. <laughs> and you're like, 
I'm sorry. I love you so much. I'm sorry. Like you're one of my favorite people. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't sound unlike me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where <laughs> yeah, does that come true. from? Where does that come from? I, I just a uh, very creative imagination, I think. Okay. Okay. That's does what that come, I'm going to call does it. That, does, that, <laughs> yeah. does that come from being an artist? Are all artists assholes? Maybe. All right. Well, Who's it's a. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell say? you, as someone who's been on the other end, it's frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your Navarro story yeah. about the jizz. Yeah. Your friend yeah. you were talking about earlier, I used to live with him, and he would use the shower. Let's do it. And Let's he would do just it. leave little jellyfishes in the shower for me to step on. This happened three fucking times. And like, I talked to him about it after the first time. And he would just keep. Did he, did he deny? He, no, he'd laugh. He'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you don't know what a jellyfish is, it's obviously when someone jerks off in the shower and leaves oh. like a big cummy mess in the drain Stop. for Stop. Lisa to smush between her toes. Fucking, oh, I'm still mad about that. That was literally, I don't know, 20 uh, years ago? It was 15 years 18, ago? 19 years ago. That's so crazy that that was that long ago. This I is... could still feel it between my toes. Yeah. <laughs> to this day. Dude, you've touched his cum multiple times. Stop. Yeah. Stop. His chunky cum. Hematom. His chunky, <laughs> chunky cum. He has no water ever. You that's why tell. That's why his cum comes out all like, like, a, like chowder. 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 Chowder cum. Yeah. I'll tell you something. Yeah. If I had, if I had dick cum, it would taste like. Wait, wait, ice wait, cream. wait. You say dick cum? <laughs> yes. If you had dick cum? Yeah. Why would you say cum? <laughs> because like, it's different from girl cum. Dick I cum. I guess. I guess. It is. It's different. Yeah, but oh like. My God, if you, girls you, just were like. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the good ones do, my friend. Yeah, true, true. The good we ones love. do. <laughs> <laughs> don't nice. say anything. <laughs> Mia the Jovovich is a squirter. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I don't know about that. Just chunky oh, okay. cum. Chunky Ugh. cum. Yep, mm-hmm. between your toes. Um, mm-hmm. Any other stories before we wrap up this episode? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Dan. There might be nowhere else to go. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, well, <clears throat> let's do wrap it up because I have a lot to do tonight. Actually, I have to pack. Oh yeah, what do you guys? Do you want to talk about what your what your plans are? We're, we're, we're just going going to Napa for like five days. That's very nice. Does, yeah, are you? Been, oh, been. you've never been to Napa? Mm-mm. You've Mm-mm. lived here for forty eight years. I How know. have you never been to Napa? Uh, I don't know, but I haven't. It's beautiful. Oh, but, mm. You guys are gonna have a nice time. Um, we're taking Jolie, so I don't so know. She, so she can get drunk on wine? Exactly. I don't know what she's going to do, like run around more like, hmm, I taste notes of pencil sharpening and cherries. Like, <laughs> Are you guys going to like wineries and stuff? Is that mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. so what is she going to do? I don't know. Why are you bringing her? <laughs> because she doesn't like, I don't want to be, I, I would miss her. Yeah. I mean, it's only a couple yeah. days, but. Okay. No, it's five days. That's, that's a chunk. What's the longest you've ever been away from her? A week. Was that this really was hard? This early on. Yes, yes. This was early on. Okay. Um, what was I going to ask you? Oh, yeah. So we, we're, we're recently in a new, like, lockdown in L.A. Um, yeah. Is your trip affected by that at all? Mm-mm. No. Oh, Wineries are still open. Restaurants are still open. So we can go and... Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, please get back in one piece because we have more yes. shows to do. Um, yes, all month. I want to thank you again for uh, committing to come back and give You're us f- five shows, and we can celebrate my birthday and your daughter's birthday and yes, Jesus' December birthday. Yes, December fifth and sixth. Yeah. Yes. Um, but Lisa, thank you very much. Sir. Good to see you thank again, you, Daniel. Um, yes, good to be seen. Have a great trip, and we have see a you lot- next fall. <laughs> <laughs> what a Bye. What, what a solid note to end on <laughs> oh. all right bye all right i love you lisa thank you love very much you. have bye. a great trip thank Thanks, you for listening baby. and um we will see you guys next week bye this is lola and i'm here to tell the world to stop being such pussies and listen to rare form radio